Whenever you bring up the name Mookie Wilson, probably the first memory that comes to mind is his big hit through the legs of Bill Buckner in the 1986 World Series. Mookie's now crushing it in a different business. The Mets World Series hero is trading in his bat for a spatula. Mookie's Legacy Catering hosted a pregame cookout you see here yesterday at City Field. Steaks, ribs, chicken, potato salad, cornbread, you name it. Legacy Catering has it. Mookie began this new venture with his brothers nearly a year ago. Joining us now is Mookie, unfortunately empty-handed because the food was that good <laughs> was that you weren't able to bring in Eddie. Thank yeah, you for joining us. Yeah, it was well, that was good in bad because I really <laughs> wanted you guys to really this sample the food, but um, the people that bought our head on outstanding at the time, and that means more to us. So from baseball to barbecue, yeah. how did this idea come about? Uh, actually, we were on our fishing trip last year, our brothers. And we decided we want to do something. I'm semi-retired, and they're pretty much semi-retired. We wanted to do something to keep us together, to do something so we no longer play baseball anymore, so we got to do something else, and we all love to cook. So we say, well, how, let's just um, let's start, start cooking for a living, you know? Um, we've been cooking for local people, churches, and family reunions and stuff like that for ages anyway. So we decided to do the business, and that's how it all came out. You've seen people line up to see you play on the diamond. <laughs> yeah. Long lines. Yesterday yeah. was also a long line. Yeah. Where did your passion from cooking come from? My passion comes from my mother. My mother cooked for the school system for 30-something oh, years down in South Carolina. And that's when they were cooking everything from scratch in the morning, from breakfast to lunch. And there was nothing processed. And she taught us all how to cook. My family is very large, 12 kids in our family. So, you know, we all had to learn that pitch in. And so she taught us all how to cook, and we just kind of picked it up from there. I'm not going to be able to get Mom Duke's <laughs> approval, but who is the best cook between you and your brothers? Well, now that's a, that's a tough one right there. Um, it depends on what you want to eat. <laughs> okay, let's do barbecue ribs. <laughs> barbecue ribs, I will put my brother Philip on it. Okay. My brother Philip, I, he does. Are you a close set. second? I'm a close second in all of them. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite dish that you serve? from Legacy Catering? Uh, um, I know there's a lot. There, 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 there is a lot, but we get a lot of requests for our, our mac, mac and cheese. It's one we cook. We get a, our um, candy yams. We get a mm. lot of requests for it. And the one dish that we do um, is called perlo rice. It's a rice cooked in meat, Ooh. and it's really, really if you're on a diet, don't bother. Don't, don't, <laughs> don't, don't touch it. But there, there's so many different things, but we, we learned all of those. Hindsight is sometimes 2020. Yeah. We were mentioning your 1986 moment. Yeah. Is there anything you look back differently that was recently learned about that at bat or even that crazy walk off hit in the inning? You know, over the years, I've spoken to so many people about the game and we would just dissect everything. The biggest question right now they want to know is would I ever beat the ball out, even if he catches it? You know, well, the answer is yeah. I would have been. <laughs> <laughs> of course, what I'm going to say, no, yeah, I would have beaten him out. Um, but there's nothing that surprises me. But I will say this, I, I see that video every year. They seem to show it every year, particularly on the playoff time. And every time I see it, I get excited. Which is, and I know what's going to happen, mm -hmm. but I still get a little excited. So that surprised me. From, I wasn't a fan. I'm a fan now. Maybe I'm a fan now. Maybe that's what it is. Well, that's what happens when you deliver a great moment. And finally, yeah. you know, of course, your amazings are struggling right now. The best yeah. advice you would give to them, because there's still plenty of baseball, yes. but some people are ready to hit the panic button. Yeah. Well, what happens, I, I learned something from Bobby Valentine when I was coaching uh, under him. And he said, okay, we got a 162 ball game. We're going to lose 62. It don't matter when you lose them, you're going to lose 62 ball games. So don't worry about, you know, going, you know, 0 for 7, you know, because you know, then the next week you might win 10, lose 3, you know, and then you're right back in the race. So, you know, it, it's, it's early, and I understand the, the panic because, look, we've had our share of disappointing people, so mm -hmm. we understand that. So um, the players have to relax. Don't try to win every ball game with every at-bat. Just win the at-bat. You know, and, and pitchers the same. Don't try to strike out every guy. Don't try to get every guy out. The only thing that matters, you get three outs no matter when. Whether it's the fifth guy or the sixth guy, you get three outs. So that's what they do. Sage advice. Next time you're back in studio, you cannot come empty-handed. I will not allow I it. promise you, when I, <laughs> if I come back, we will not come empty-handed because I'll be more prepared this time. <laughs> Thank you, Mookie, so much for joining us. That is Mookie Wilson. Memorial, Memorial Day is right around the corner, so, of yeah. course, get your orders in because you deliver everywhere. Every the website is LegacyCatering.net. Yeah. Dan, Hazel. We're hungry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so am I. So am I. He's talking Gosh. about a sweet potato cornbread. Can oh. you imagine being yeah. fed by a legend? Yes. Right? Awesome. Yeah, it's going to be good. Justin, thank you.